anybody that partners up with us, yes. I'm going to show them step by step Ooh. how to do what exactly what I'm doing. Like 300 leads a month. Imagine. 3 a.m. I got packed, ready to go, dressed, and headed to, I got to tell you this, the wrong yeah. airport. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> so what we realized, me and Jasmine, is mm -hmm. 80% of the realtors are leaving the business yeah. because they don't have the training necessary um, to go to that next level, right? Welcome to episode five of my podcast. I don't even have a name for the podcast, but this podcast is to help you guys grow in business, family, real estate. We're going to share it all. If you like the content, please like, share, and share it to a friend, right? So today I have the honor Ooh, to have thank you. the one and only, Thanks. the superstar <laughs> Talk about of, it. of the six of mm -hmm. Toronto here in front of me, Jasmine Lee. How are you doing today, Jasmine? So amazing. It was a late night last night tea. I know. Holy, our team like blew it up. I'm, I'm like excited. Montreal's on fire. Wow, wow. So before we go to last night okay. and everywhere, deal, deal. Who, like, tell me, who is Jasmine Lee, right? We see you on social media. You have so much followers. It's mm -hmm. amazing what you're doing. But who is Jasmine Lee? Wow. And you know what? You didn't even give me a heads up on the questions. Oh, all right. You know <laughs> no, how no, we no. do. You know we how we flow, do. We flow. We <laughs> flow. So who is Jasmine Lee today is a lover, a lover of life and all beautiful things and connections. So this is how like real estate is such a big part of my life because it, it connects me with beautiful people that are like leveling up and growing. And from the time I know you till now, there's so much growth tea. Yeah. So much growth yeah. besides the hair and the look <laughs> <laughs> and the body and the gyms at 5 a.m. Like just. Having a beautiful community where you're growing, I'm growing, and we're pouring into each other, that's that's me. That's what wow. I'm about. So anybody I'm about that's in my circle, we're all elevating together. So that's who I am, whether it's been personal, business, family, especially business, because yeah. that's how we make an impact worldwide. Wow. You said real estate is a big part of your life. How long you been in the real estate uh, business? Half my life. Half of your life. Mm -hmm. Half my life. It's okay. crazy. Half it's crazy of your to life. think about that. Yeah. Okay, so, so twenty eight years. Twenty, 20 years. years. So mm -hmm. you're, um, I'm not gonna say the don't age. even do it. <laughs> I'm forty, ladies you're and gentlemen. 40. forty. I love it. You look like you're like twenty, twenty four. Well, let's let's something. keep it like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You gotta give the secrets. No stress. There's nothing to to stress about. Everything is solution mode. Yeah. Nothing to worry about. Wow. You that, can't stress me. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So tell me more about you. You do real estate. Do you have a team? What do you? So I have a beautiful team and you know what? I'm going to now have a coin term for it. Okay. I like a micro team. Micro. I don't want a mega team. I want to, I, I always want to have like quality people that want to level up and we're taking care of each other. We're high level producing. Yeah. So I don't have to manage 20 people. Okay. This is the beauty of being a partner at XP because I have partners over 150 worldwide. Okay. They're my partners. But so I tell me, so mm -hmm. not, not, okay. not, I don't want to confuse nobody, right? Okay, okay. So you said you have a, a, a micro team. How big yeah. is that one? So my micro team has five people, five people, three licensed agents, two support staff. Okay. And then we have like showing agents that help them show properties. We have like marketing, different departments that help us on different areas. But our core group is a micro team of three licensed agents and two support staff. OK. And what's the partnership you said? You, said so you have XP. a team partnership. So, so my partnerships the are my agents at EXP where I still support them. I still meet with them. I still come in person, coach them pour into them, share what we're doing in Toronto so they can take it to the next level in Montreal and Florida and the Caribbean. So our agents are worldwide, international, North and all over North America. So 150 plus in the last two years that we've partnered with us. Wow. And we're just growing. So 100, you you have a team of like, you said um, five mm -hmm. and you have 150 partners around plus, the world. Plus, because every day we're just adding more agents to our organization. Wow. And, and our organization, this is small compared to like the bigger picture of our organization. Yeah. Because there's over over 80,000 agents at EXP now? Like, yes, it, yeah, 87,000. 80, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's over 87,000 in agents in EXP in our organization. We have one of the largest organizations of agents at EXP. Yeah. So it's a huge network, but our organization, two years old, we're over 150 agents plus worldwide. What does that represent for you? For people watching us, like yeah. 150 um, brokers that 
you probably help mm -hmm. leverage and help go to the next level. What does that represent for you? Man, like it represents so much because in 2004, when I started in real estate, you're a solo agent. There was no such thing as teams. Yeah. So then you have this team and it's amazing. And then you're a team leader. You're helping agents grow. You're pouring into them. And then some will stay on the team. They're meant to be a team on a team. And some are meant to go solo. Mm -hmm. So you see them grow and then they fly the coop. And you're just like, that's amazing. But now at EXP, we're partners for life. Wow, that's amazing. So, right? So 20 years in the game. How was the game? Like, I, I've been in the game for like eight years. Mm -hmm. But how was the game like when you first started? Like the first five, five years. What did... Um, the people doing real estate look like, mm -hmm. feel like. So, you know, like one of the first advice I got in real estate from my broker is, okay, I was, you know, at the big banner before and he was just like, come into the office come and, you know, shadow an agent and he's going to teach you the tricks. That's how yeah. you learn. Yeah. Um, I showed up. There was no agent that's going to teach you the tricks. That's so true. <laughs> There's no tricks to that's be taught. So They're not teaching anything once yeah. you go to the office. You're just, you know, burning and learning on your own. Like, you know, um, so the beautiful part now that teams are part of real estate is that you don't have to go through all the building pain points that we went through. By coming onto a team, you're getting 20 years of experience. Being our partner, you're getting 20 years of experience from me and um, from Teddy, eight years plus, And you're learning smart, not hard. Yeah. Definitely. So they don't have to, to make the mistake we made, right? Yeah. And especially when you're working with friends and families and the biggest real estate purchase of their life, the biggest purchase, mm -hmm. you want to make sure you got their back. So when you're with somebody who has experience of 20 years, 10 years plus, you're solid. Great. So if I have a new, like, let's say, for example, there's a new realtor that's watching us right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give them to hit their first client? What can they do like today? What can they do today? So first, for a new agent, I'd highly recommend to join a team. Okay. But make sure the energy is right and you interview teams and you make sure you make the right connection because it's, you know, in real estate and in business, it's who you partner with matters. Yeah. Right? So that's the first thing. And second thing for new agents, don't be a secret agent. Mm. You know, let everybody know you're in real estate. Don't be shy. Like yesterday at the event, I was yeah. with an agent. She's like, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna start, I'm going to get my license. I'm going to get things going. I'm like, okay, put in your bio on social media, aspiring realtor. Wow. It, it shook her to the core. Yeah. And I'm like, send wow, <laughs> like do it right now it's yeah. like if you're gonna coach with me if you're not taking notes and you're not taking action you can't be my student yeah that's it like the rules to be my student is you have to be coachable you have to take action and you have to get shit done wow that's mm. amazing that's amazing and, and you know that T. yeah i know i know i know <laughs> you because i'm not gonna waste my time you're wasting my time i could do a better shit with my time i know i, I thought i was a driver but yeah, till yeah, i yeah. met you i was like i'm not driving at all <laughs> I'm not driving. No, see, you're driving for sure. But <laughs> that's why I love about what we have is like, I'm not like, I'm pouring to you. I'm not taking any money out of your, your, your mouth. Like whatever commission is all yours. You're my partner. So that's the other thing. Yeah. My partners don't split commissions with me. It's mm. all theirs. As you know, you know that yeah, it's definitely. all yours, but we're here just to, the more money you make, the more group our money makes, it's better for everybody. Oh, oh, so the question I have for you, I know the answer, but I want you to share the answer. Like what's the benefit of Jasmine Lee helping Teddy? Or any other realtors? Well, my partners. Okay. So my partners at EXP, the better they do, we have, and that's beauty, our company, we have multiple streams of income, yeah. right? You sell real estate, um, you get your commissions, that's at any typical brokerage, but our brokerage has multiple streams of income. And the second one that we'll talk about with your question is my partners, the more I help them, the more business they do, we get a percentage from the fees that they pay the brokerage. Okay. So nothing from the agent is from the brokerage. Okay, so that's So this important. is why it's an agent-owned brokerage, and they split the fees. Half goes to the company, half goes to your organization. That, so that's the beauty. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, wow. So much stuff. Mm -hmm. So Jasmine, right now we're in Montreal. Mm -hmm. Why is Jasmine in Montreal? Why would you travel or come to Montreal? Well, let's start with waking up yesterday at 3 a.m. to get yeah, here. Yeah, tell me about it. How was it? <laughs> Rough. <laughs> I am definitely not at 3 a.m. I'm not even at 5 a.m. Okay. You told me you're at the gym at 5 a.m. So what yes. time do you wake up to? I wake up at 5.30 every morning. Okay, so then you got to the gym at 6 then. Yeah, I get to the gym at 6 <laughs> and I'm at the office at 9. Oh, shit. Okay, amazing. Yeah. I'm up at 6.30 normally. But yeah, 3 a.m. I had to get up because I have this obsession of just packing before I leave my house. Oh, my God. I can't pack in advance. It's the worst. Oh, my it's God. It's so painful. And like every trip, I'm going to do it better. Even when I went to Bali for three months, I still pack them before I left my house. Like every a couple time. of hours before. Like, yes, right before the flight. Oh, my God. It's the worst. You I don't was... forget nothing when you do it like of that? Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> And we buy stuff but <laughs> i have stuff prep like i have like my short-term trip package travel pack and i have a long term but um 3 a.m i got packed ready to go dressed and headed to 
I gotta tell you this, the wrong yeah. airport. Oh my <laughs> god. I went to Pearson and then I'm like, why is my flight not on the board? Oh my god. Then I had god. to take a so hubby dropped me to Pearson and then I'm like shit in the traffic. So then I took an Uber from Pearson to Billy. How far is it that? Like a like a forty dollar Uber ride. Forty dollars. <laughs> so okay. it's like an hour. Oh, an hour. Oh, okay. So we were there early enough, but that's a funny story for you guys. So you guys are wow. getting all the tea. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I got to um Billy, then we headed to Montreal, got the car. There's no cars in Montreal for some reason since COVID. Oh, no? And, but we finally got a rental, headed to get, you know, get styled up, get makeup done by Widley. She's amazing. Then headed shout to our, out Widley. Oh, shout out to Widley. Shout. She takes care of all the ladies in Montreal. We're going to tag her. Like, we're okay, yeah, yeah. Tag her because she's yeah, yeah. huge. She's, yeah, yeah. she's a boss. I love her. And then we headed to our Airbnb. And then straight from the Airbnb, we headed to MacTar's event, which was like crazy. Wow. Fireworks. 280 people. Like, I know. You <laughs> showed me that video of uh, Kevin Hart. Like, yeah, he yeah, yeah. blew the fire. Yeah, yeah. MacTar did the same thing. That was amazing. Kevin Hart. Max Hart. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> How was the event? You liked it? Did I like it? Yeah. It's 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 excellent. How's the Montreal crowd? Are we are we fun? Because everybody from Montreal they want to go chill in Toronto, but is, is Montreal fun? Montreal is amazing, and you know what I love about Montreal is that people are real. Yeah. Like, versus Toronto, like you're getting a lot of like you know their representatives. Toronto, like. So in Montreal, we're having real conversations. People are like, you know, I own this. I want to get into real estate. What do I do? Like, they're being humble and vulnerable and sharing. I don't know. Maybe I'm Toronto experiencing it from because I'm in Toronto coming to Montreal. But people have real conversations here with me. Toronto, yeah. like, they're kind of like a little bit stush, bougie. Got like, you. it's like that, you know? Got but you. Montreal, they're really open and sharing. Nice. So I love that. I love coming here. I come here, like, what, every two, three months? Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. You support. You support. Thank you for yeah, that. Thank you. And um, last night, you took the stage. Wow. How was it? Well, when I saw you doing jumping jacks in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I was controlling the stress, putting the stress down. Well, Teddy started doing jumps. Um, and I was like, damn, so I guess I should be nervous, huh? But I'm not. I'm just joking. There's a little bit. There's a little excitement. There's a little nervous. There's, you know, you have to turn on your mic. And you turn on your mic early. And then yeah, I heard I you. I was like, shit. <laughs> it was amazing. And, you know, the details. You guys are so young and killing it. So if you're this young, early 30s, killing it, what's 40s and 50s going to look like? Wow. Like, I can't wait to come to Montreal then. Like, yeah. in, like own this key no, we're, probably, we're, we're probably, at that age, we probably live, like, somewhere like you know, Aruba. Like, but you still have a base in Montreal. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah sure. don't, don't, he's not home. leaving. He's not no, leaving. No, I'm not leaving. Okay. But but you might come see me on the beach. No, I have to. Because yeah. we send, we sh- and that's my partner. Like, you, we share those videos that, you know. We're going to be on an island together, yeah, enjoying yeah. life, like everything that we put our sweat equity in. We're going to so, enjoy so it. So you're talking about the island. Let me ask you this question. Mm-hmm. What is, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? You know, I love to travel. We travel yeah. maybe once or twice a month. Like yeah. this month it, on the schedule right now is Montreal, work and play, Orlando, work and play. So once or twice a month we travel. Wow. And I used to say like an island is an island. I had some favorites, but I just came back from Bahamas and mm. one of my realtor partners at XP bought property there. I love it. Wow. So an island is island. That's how my thought process was. But now being there and knowing the people and the safety and the tax benefits, I'm yeah. like, I'm loving Bahamas right now. Wow. So we're looking at real estate there. So we'll see what happens. I, I have this mentor, okay? You mm-hmm. probably know him. The the uh he wrote the the book Rich Dad Poor Dad. His mm-hmm. name is Robert Kiyosaki. Nice. And he has this uh oh, quadrant gosh. that he talks about, and there's um, Investor. Four, yeah, there's four letters. There's employee, there's self-employed, there's um business and owner and investor. Yeah. Right. And what I realized in the business we are, which is real estate, everybody's stuck in they they leave like being an employer to go uh, and become a, a self-employer and mm-hmm. they think they become a boss. Yeah. But when I listen to your story, you actually change and you're now like a business owner running mm-hmm. a business and having passive income. Yeah. So why is it so important for a human being to have passive income? Si vous ne souhaitez pas recevoir de visite ou rester sur le marché pendant plusieurs mois, Teddy propose de l'acheter lui-même au prix de vente que vous aurez fixé ensemble. Il prend donc tous les risques pour vendre votre maison. En contactant Teddy, vous pouvez être assuré que votre maison sera vendue et que vous bénéficierez toujours de l'offre la plus élevée, que ce soit celle de Teddy ou d'un acheteur extérieur. Si vous désirez recevoir un rapport spécial gratuit sur le programme de vente, veuillez cliquer sur le lien ci-dessous ou contactez directement Teddy au 514-825-1485. You want the time freedom to do what you want when you want, yeah. how you want to. Yeah. And people don't understand that life happens. Like people get sick, you know, mm. you, you know, 
different things as an entrepreneur that hit you hard, death, divorce, you know, all health stuff that comes up. So you need to plan for the future. Yeah. Right. I've been in real estate long enough to see people come up, you know, that are in real estate, have cancer and, you know, they stop working for two years and they come back and they have to start from scratch. Mm. That's tough to watch and hear. Yeah. I had an agent at one of my other offices that I was at. Um, He's like, you know, I just battled cancer. Everything's amazing. And he should be celebrating life. But now he wants to hustle hard because there's no money. Wow. They're only in real estate. You're as good as your last deal, they say. Yeah. That is the quote. You're as yeah. good as your last deal. You hunt and eat what you kill. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't want that for myself. I don't want that for my team. I don't want that for my partners. I want a set of wealth strategies. And this is why this is the best company to come, to partner with us because mm -hmm. we care about our agents. We want to show them strategies how to build wealth. Like for you, I admire what you do with your team. You teach them how to flip and buy property and renovate. Like everybody that I've, I've talked to around you, they own real estate. Yeah. There's a lot of realtors that don't own real estate, T. That's true. Like you guys take this for advantage. You know, yeah. it's not it's not a common thing that own real estate and are landlords and you own your building. Like there's not a lot of realtors like that, T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a wow. beautiful thing. So, where, so right now you're partnering up. You have 150 partners. Where do you want to bring this? What's the end goal? And you know, you asked me for a number, but it's worldwide. Okay. Like, I love the impact. And it's crazy because social media, you're like, you know what? You might post and nobody's, you know, not as much people like or comment. You're thinking people are not noticing, but they notice and they see you. Mm -hmm. Like, I traveled to St. Lucia. I was at the airport. I did a red eye. My flight arrived at like four o'clock in the morning. And this lady came up to me. She was like, Jasmine. I'm like, nah, it's not me. Because <laughs> I was like busted. I was tired. I don't want to talk to anybody. She's like, no, no. I follow you on Instagram. Here you are. I was like, shit. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> but social media makes an impact. And then being our partner in real estate, you see even more impact. Yeah. Like the growth. And when you're an entrepreneur and you're building and you're building your you know, sales technique, you're building yourself. Yeah. Right. So the two years I know you, you've evolved. Cassandra's evolved. Jessica's grown. Like everybody has grown. We, we, you know, my partners, we shed tears sometimes. We have fun. We work hard. We play hard. And it's, you know, it's just about the evolution together. And yeah. that's me. You're building a community because real estate is a lonely business. Definitely. Like when you're winning, who are you clapping? Like there's only one, you know, like yourself. And then when it gets hard, who do you talk to? Yeah. So you have a team, you have your partners, like there's huge support. Yeah. So what's the advantage for a, a realtor to partner with us there's so much yeah tell there's me. so much cooking All right, tell are, me you, are you gonna tell them are you gonna tell them what's coming oh uh, you could tell them you, you no, can, T. Yeah. no it's you okay so you're like the brainchild you gotta that, give it to them perfect okay i'll go, I'll go. you're the boss is this the first time everybody's hearing about <laughs> first it? time okay. ever ever so what we realized me and jasmine is 80 mm percent -hmm. of the realtors are leaving the business yeah because they don't have the training necessary um to go to that next level right um, Jasmine has 20 years of experience. Mm -hmm. I have eight. We have people like Shelly. We have uh, Brent. They mm -hmm. have so much in experience in the game. So what we decided to do is, you told me the name yesterday. I'm going I'm I'm to try to say the correct name. We're, we're going to build the One Nation Wealth Library. You got it, T. Right? Where we're going to put in. everything. We're going to pour everything. Like, how do you lead generation? Not only on Facebook. There's so much stuff that a realtor could do right now and generate business, right? Mm -hmm. um, how do you keep the money, right? Because yeah. once you make the money, what do you do with the money next? Yeah. If you don't, like, secure the bag. How do you get the money to work for you? Exactly. Yeah. All of that, right? How to uh, receive passive income, right? Mm -hmm. You're doing it. You're killing it. You have so much. You have control of your time. You're saying you're traveling, like, two two times a, a mm -hmm. month that's yeah. crazy realtors right now they can't even take a weekend off no one way. day off they can't do it yeah. right so it's amazing what you're doing so we're creating this platform for realtors to help them to help you guys go to the next level right so it, it, we're gonna launch that pretty soon we're working Ooh. on it it's gonna be fun soon. you know what's beautiful about it every age is gonna be pouring into it yes like i met Marsha last night she's a coach yes she's viral on tiktok yes. she's, she's pouring into she's it killing. so our partners are killing it and everybody is gonna pour into it it's not just me it's not just teddy it's the whole collective exactly as soon as you win you're on the platform you could show mm -hmm. your formula to somebody else right because any stage you are in life people actually look up to you mm -hmm. so if you're doing something great you have to share it with the world i think that's what it is right so you learn stuff, you have to give it back. and You got to pay for it. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly the word. That's amazing. Amazing. Wow, Jasmine Lee. Mm, so much good. about you. Thank I love you. it. I love it. You have a, a, a crazy impact like on my team, mm. on my partners also. Yes. Thank you so much for like being here for us. Yeah. Even my wife, Jessica. Oh like, my gosh, like, you have to talk about you, my kids. Yeah, you, you're doing so much stuff and the impact. So, so I have to ask you this. Mm -hmm. So I realized... Um, like, for example, my wife, when she's around you, she comes back home. She's like, 
10 X. I'm like, what happened to you? Right? Yeah. Even the same thing with Cassandra. They yeah. go to Toronto, they go see you. I don't know what kind of food you guys were eating <laughs> up there, but they come back, they're like, ah, I'm like, whoa, okay. So so what is the thing that you do with those women right now? Oh. What like t- can you give me like Okay, yeah. one Jessica come back when well, she comes to Toronto, she eats Chick-fil-A. That's her okay. Food. Okay, okay, for one. <laughs> <laughs> So that so that's what she's eating, but we're gonna take we're gonna do some full, she said the <laughs> next time. But I mean it's and I point to men too. It's, okay. But I love our woman community because I know it's such a you know not represented in our industry. So this is why that is my niche. So for women, it's just really you know, giving one the representation, mm-hmm. right? Because real estate again is like really a boys' club. It's always been in mid fifties, and it's a certain type of demographic. And w- right now, what we're doing is so diverse. Yeah. Like last night was so diverse. It was Indian, Chinese. White, black, everybody, Caribbean, African yes. in the same room. Yes. That's beauty. Yes. In real estate investing, come on, T. Like I we went to eat in Montreal. It didn't like lunchtime at the restaurant didn't look like what like last night looked like. Yeah, right? Definitely. I so agree. that is amazing. So just being one on one with my partners and just finding what's happening to, with them and how we can support them and you know, how do they want to take it to the next level? Because age, every agent and every business owner has different, you know, tribulations in their business. So from somebody starting out, somebody who's five years in, someone who's 10 years in, depending on how they want to grow their business, we pour into them. Yeah. So like Jay, Jessica, she's just like, you know, I'm doing X amount of deals, which was amazing for her first year. Mm-hmm. She killed the game. Yeah. And I know that's because of you. So yeah. she killed it in her first year. And she's you're giving like, the secrets. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one Jay though. So she's like, you know, Jasmine, I want to take it to the next level, but I want balance. And and I walked into your office today and I saw her and her assistant. Like, yeah. come on, that's yeah. amazing. And I love that when I point to my girls, they take action. Yeah. Right. So there's so many benefits partnering with us. Twenty years of experience, and you know when you're sh- you share and you're raw and vulnerable about your business, that's the only way we can help you yeah. and help each other. Yeah. Why is it so important to execute fast? Because you know what, as entrepreneurs, as you think about it too much. Then you stop yourself and the perfectionist syndrome comes in and you're just like, you know, I need to do this, this and this before I do this. Yeah. Cut it. Cut the crap. Let's go. So so even though it's not perfect, you release it. Yeah. 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 I love that. Yeah. You know, what's so crazy about this is iPhone. They sell you a break, a broken iPhone. I like to say that. And they send you an update like every two months. That's a really good example it's for crazy, people to right? get it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because so, it's not perfectly done, but they fix along the way and they charge us, what, 1500 to 2000 now. That's, that's, that's rent, mortgage, car payment. Like <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Jasmine, how many followers do you have on Instagram? Not enough. Okay. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. And how much is that number? Okay, it's like thirteen thousand. Wow. The Jasmine Lee team. So connect with us. Wow, that's amazing. Um, can you share a tip mm-hmm. how to go to that level of followers? What did you do to reach that amount? You know of what I say? Like the to me, social media, I just use it as a tool to connect. So being real, raw, authentic, you know, not always showing up online as perfect mm. is to me, that is my formula yeah. recipe. That's my brand. I want to be authentic. I want to connect with people. When I see people, they feel like they know me already because yeah. how I am online and in person is the exact same person. Yeah. Right. So there's, that's me. So as a realtor, do you put like, um, post pictures like sold or spot or stuff Great like that. question. So I recommend if you're comfortable enough, do personal business, personal, okay. right? If you're not comfortable yet, business, personal business, but you've got to show your personality. So yes, show your just listed, just sold, but you know, give the backstory. How did it arrive there? How did you get there? How did you sell that listing? Yeah. Right. Because it's good for them to know that you're in business and you're selling real estate, obviously, mm-hmm. but you know, give them backstory, connect with your clients by storytelling. Yeah. So would you recommend um, videos or like write a long text about the story? You already know, but thank you for asking. It's video. You got to show up online. Yeah. Do videos, connect with your audience, like video, visual, visual, talk, podcast, do all that to promote yourself. You are a brand. Yeah, definitely. Right? I love it. I love it. I always say real estate is like a table, right? Mm-hmm. So a table has four legs mm-hmm. and every legs would represent like a lead generation system. Mm-hmm. And when I say lead generation, I'm not talking about online. Mm-hmm. Right. So I know you have a huge business. Can you share like one leg of your table? Okay, great. So what we say is similar to what you said is we have three pillars minimum. Yeah. And as you, per, you know, not perfect, but you solidify those three pillars and you can add more pillars to your business. The first one should always be database for any business. It doesn't just mean real estate. So this is a great podcast for anybody in business. Yeah. So your first pillar should be your database. People already know you like you trust you. If you say Teddy, they know you, right? Those are people you reach out to. So it's funny. I'll, short story. I was talking to a realtor last night and she's like, you don't want to take my business to the next level. And I did. I said, how did you do um, in the last three months? She said she did three deals. Where did they come from? 
friend, family, somebody referred. Yeah. And then she said she has a list of all these people that don't know her that she has to call every day. I said, so why are we not starting with people who know you like you trust you? Yeah. That's where your business came from. Cultivate that, kill that, then add another pillar and keep adding pillars. So the first one should always be people who know you like you trust you. So if you're an entrepreneur, you're a business owner, take your phone out, find how many contacts you have that on your phone right now, go into your phone, see how many contacts you have. And if you work this business right and you work your database right, you should be getting 10% minimum from how many people you know. So if average. I have a thousand people in mm-hmm. my phone right now, yep. in my contacts, mm-hmm. you say I could close um, 10% of that. That's a hundred. You should be able to close that 100%. That's crazy. Yeah. Like a hundred ten- times $10,000. That's, that's a million. Votre expert en prêt hypothécaire. Avec plus de 30 banques à son actif, elle peut comparer leurs produits en quelques minutes seulement. Que vous cherchiez à acheter une nouvelle maison, à renouveler votre hypothèque ou à la refinancer, Jessica a tout ce qu'il vous faut. Dites adieu au tracas de la recherche des meilleurs taux et conditions hypothécaires, appelez Jessica au 514-825-1485 et laissez-la faire le travail pour vous. Avec Jessica à vos côtés, vous pouvez être certain d'obtenir la meilleure offre possible. Contactez-la dès aujourd'hui et faites le premier pas vers la maison de vos rêves. Yeah, exactly. It's that easy and people come overcomplicate it. Wow. And then that's one pillar. Remember, there's two other pillars. So one one, can, one should always be your database. Second yeah. could be social media. But you got to be proactive, not reactive. So if you get a new follower, you message them, you connect with them. Like you did last night, you meet new people, you send a picture of yourself and them so they'll never forget you. Yeah. Like do epic shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what, why I do that? It's yes. simple. Cause nobody's doing it. One. Nobody's doing it mm-hmm. for sure. And I like to do what everybody's not doing yeah so that's the first thing second thing why i when i go to events like this i meet so much people you won't remember either. i'm not gonna remember nobody <laughs> if you text me your name tomorrow i might not who you know who you are but when i take a picture with you and i ask you your phone number right mm-hmm. i ask everybody what number should i send that to you mm-hmm. like that you give me your phone number like yeah. that i have it too right so yeah, i could follow up in the future so that's a great so third pillar could be networking events so that's yeah. an amazing way for me when i go to networking events i send my contact card and I usually, the person doesn't know how to do a digital contact card. So I teach them it's free. They get mine. Then I get their, theirs. So they got free game from me. I taught them something they'll never forget. And every time they share with somebody, they'll remember. And that way I have their information already in my phone and I don't need to take their business card and have to upload all their information into my CRM or my database or my contacts. Yeah. Cause it's already there. I sent them my contact card with all my info, website, email, social, everything, photo, and they send me theirs. Okay. Amazing. Jasmine, how did we meet? Your wife. Huh? It's Jessica. It's crazy. Let me share that story. Okay, you got yeah. it. You got it. So what happened is, it was, you remember the, um, it was during COVID, mm-hmm. okay? And um, there was this new app. It was it went viral. It was Clubhouse. I don't yes, know if you heard about Clubhouse. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm a Clubhouse, right? And the, the owner of EXP, Glenn Sanford, is talking with Grant Cardone. Mm-hmm. And Grant Cardone gets all excited about EXP. I'm like, whoa, why is this guy so excited? And he was like, oh, I want to be part of it. I want to be part of it. Right there on Clubhouse. That's right he there, heard yeah. It? He heard about it. Glenn Sanford was and telling him. And he took action. He was like, bro, this is going to change And guess what? He's game. our partner at EXP. Yes, he is. So I'm like, I asked myself this question. What did Grant Cardone see that Teddy didn't see? Mm-hmm. So after that that video uh, that I was listening to it, I went and I searched EXP everywhere online. I started to see videos. And I was talking to my wife. I was like, there's this new company, EXP, blah, blah, blah. She's like, I know EXP. I'm like, how? There no you go. EXP. Yeah. She's like, there's this girl I follow <laughs> on Instagram. She's always talking about EXP, EXP. I'm like, show me her Instagram. So yeah. I see your Instagram. And you have like, I have to tell you, you mm-hmm. have this, this fabulous Instagram with a lot of followers. I'm like, this girl is never going to answer the DM. Yeah. She, I'm like, you know what? Send her a DM. If she answers, I'll talk to her. And, and how she, quick. She sent a DM, I think the same night. Yeah. So I was like, wow, this is amazing. And we sat down on a call. You talked to me about EXP. And when I when I heard about EXP, I was like, ah, I don't know. Let me think about it. Let me this. Let me that. And you were like, Teddy, come on. It's a game changer. I've been to you've been to all those companies for 20 years. And you're like, it's a game changer. I was like, you know what? I saw the grant. You telling me this. Let me just jump. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, I don't regret nothing at Amazing. all. Right. I, yeah. I, I, like I have a stock account that I didn't even put money in it. Mm. And it's almost six figures now. Shit. Like crazy. Hey, yeah. Crazy. Like that's, that's my retirement money. No. Yes. Sons. 
Oh, uh, no. <laughs> he has he has properties. Nah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> nah, we'll buy like, maybe a Ferrari or something like that. Yeah, so so that's how we met. It's you amazing. See, that's crazy. And that's the power of social media. And yeah. when you show up as your authentic self, you're going to connect with people. But again, my partners take action. Yeah. You heard about it. Yes, you took some time and did your research, but it's not like when you're going to join. I mean, if you're going to join, it's when you're going to join. Yeah. That like once you see the opportunity as a realtor, you're not going to want to work for anywhere else yeah. and partner with anywhere else but ESP. But picking the right partner that actually cares and is going to pour into you and, and come and show up for you yeah. is going to be key. That's because, amazing. Yeah, because now ESP, everybody in Montreal knows. So like for you, you were like... You know, you broke the ground in Montreal. You're one of the first few that even joined EXP in Montreal. Yeah, there, there was like, when I joined EXP in Montreal, there was 40 to 50 agents. Come on. Now Visionary. Like almost 300 agents. And That's it's growing amazing. like fast. So when I joined EXP in Toronto, and Toronto's a larger community, there's over 80,000 realtors. Um, By the end of the year, they're projecting 80 to 100,000 realtors wow. on the board by the end of the year. Right? And um, when I joined, there was about 200 in Toronto. It was rough. There was some, you know, learning curves. They were going through it just like Apple. They're fixing stuff, getting things together. But now we're on the other side. There's like 3,000 agents in just Toronto Core. Wow. And that's in a matter of two years. Wow. Like fully blown up. You know, and again, there's things that come up because we grew so fast. Yeah. But I, I have no regrets. It's the best place to be because we're creating retirement. We're creating multiple streams. I have money from, you know, regular selling real estate. I have my stock account like you and I have my partners that I help them. I help them win. I help them do more business and I create another income stream from that. How much money can we make in passive income and EXP? Like and this is why I got into real estate because there's no cap. There's yeah. really no cap. You work nine to five. There's a salary, mm. right? And with real estate, the more you put in, the more you get out. Yeah. So that's why I got into real estate because there's it's it's limitless. Yeah. There's limitless in how much money you can make in real estate. There's limitless how much money you can make in your revenue sh- revenue streams with EXP. Our stock is down like twelve dollars right now. Yeah. And we're like six figures in. Yeah. So when that stock blows up, like it's gonna be crazy. Like right. there's stories of people taking out millions of dollars out of their stock account to pay off their mortgage, retire. That's the other thing I want to share. EXP, this was the first company that I've ever spoke to agents and they've had a retirement date. Yeah. They're like, I'm retiring February 2nd, 2023, and I'm done with real estate because I have enough money coming in. Yeah. You know, in real estate, what's the terminology? I don't know if you heard this. If you sell real estate till you die. That's so true. Right? So I want my partners to be set up so good because I want us to all enjoy life together. There's no fun in having money if you can, you don't have a group. A yeah. crew yeah. to enjoy it with. It's like like going for dinner. There's a group of us going for dinner tonight yeah. and going for lunch together. We're we're celebrating life together. Like that's beauty. Okay. That's wealth. Okay. Yes, it is. Is it, it is. Um, how do you how if somebody's watching us and wants to partner up with us, how do they become partners? What, you, well, what's for the me, next step? for me, I have a link in my bio on Instagram, the Jasmine Lee team. You click on the link, you book a realtor to realtor conversation. And it's not about just partnering. If you want to just connect and see how you want to take your business second level, next level, I have agents that are just like, I'm leaving my company and they want me to pay a fee of like five, 10,000 to leave. Yeah. Like what the hell? Our company doesn't do that. So there's yeah. so many things I talk to realtors one on one about. You know, and then it's like, you know, why are you at your company? What's, you know, what's the difference? And then we just start talking about different things that are happening. Right. Yeah. And, you know, it's a natural thing. And they join and partner with us and they take their business to the next level. And they don't deal with all the other crap that they're doing with the other brokerages. Yeah. Right. That's for me. They book a call, link in bio. They DM me for you. I think you like when they DM call. You what's call, your, what's your preference? Text, you come see me. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Whatever you want to yeah, do. Yeah, partner with us. It's just yes. easy. You know, DM my link in my bio. You can book a call if that's easier for you. But we're here, like, you know, through the journey. It's it's not an overnight decision is what yeah. I want to share as well. Yeah. It's like, you know, how, what are your pain points that you're going through right now? I want to show you how I can help you with that pain point. And then you can see what the value is being our partner. That's amazing. You know, last uh, this morning I was checking. I generated just last night when we were at the event. Mm-hmm. I generated... Um, maybe 20 leads wow. buyer and seller leads what yeah you're working the room like that t yeah like Damn. but not even at the event like all the marketing that I was running that oh. generated like 20 leads yes, in my yes, crm yes. so i generate about about 300 leads okay. a month so when i why i'm saying this mm-hmm. look i'm doing an offer to everybody anybody that partners up with us yes i'm gonna show them step by step Ooh. how to do what exactly what i'm doing like 300 leads a month imagine Imagine if you tr- if you close like ten percent, you said ten yeah. percent, right? Mm-hmm. If you if I 
blow up your database and you close 10% of your database, that's... That's crazy. I don't know. That's, that's crazy. It sounds like a house in Aruba or something like that. <laughs> exactly. You know, just listening to you because when I met you, you were anti-CRM, Teddy. That's so true. Teddy, you were anti. How did you yeah. feel about CRMs two years ago? You know what? <laughs> what I could tell you, I don't know how I felt, but this, this is what yeah. I'm going to tell you, okay? Thank you. If 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 the CRM I'm using right now, I was gonna say their name, but yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna wait, say wait their until, name because wait, 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 they're wait. not gonna pay me to say their name. Okay, <laughs> but the CRM I'm using right now, if they go bankrupt, yeah, I'm out of the game. I'm I, not selling real estate. No I more. couldn't believe it when Teddy went from like I'm not. He's fighting against the CRMs. I showed him all I, when I shared. You know I, what? I thought I had a CRM because I had I was using Mojo. Yeah. And I told you, babe, you like, say, that's, D, that's not a that's not a CRM, honey. I'm like, I can put my notes. It's okay. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I was like, no, that's not a CRM. So it was a fight for a minute. <laughs> yeah. And this is the things like what we're teaching in our group in our in, in our collab system is not what you learn in school. Yeah, definitely. This is real life stuff that's gonna set you up for the foundations for your business so that you can take it to the next level every yeah. single year, yeah. every single month, whatever you want to do. Right. Some people just want to make one fifty and work ten hours a week. Some people want to make millions of dollars, you know, yearly, monthly. So the tools that we're going to share with you is stuff that we've been through and it's helped us with our business. Yeah. So that's the benefits of partnering with us. Let and me I, ask, yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead, go ahead. No, no, and this is why I love because even just pouring in that into you, now you're, like, Teddy's amazing with online leads. Like, I'm more a relationship database, so everybody's pouring into different things, so you're learning from different agents that are in the business, different brokers that are in the business, so you can take what you like in your style and make it your own. So I'm not saying for you to be the next Teddy or the next Jasmine. We want you to be bigger than us. But in the library, we're going to have some Jasmine. Yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to have, have Marsha, Jessica, Cassandra. Matt. So they, they're going to share their secret sauce and people are going to be able to take yeah, what they want, exactly. right? It's going to be a, like a buffet. Oh, <laughs> you can, yeah, yeah. You're going to have to hashtag that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time oh my first gosh. to flying to to Montreal, mm-hmm. even though you mixed yeah. up the airport oh, and stuff. <laughs> So thank you so much. Thank you for um, giving us your time, your knowledge, your heart, mm-hmm. everything. It's amazing what you do. Keep thank doing you. what you do. Thank you again. Is there like a last advice you want to share with the public? Something? Mm-hmm. I would say, you know, don't be shy. Meet us in the DMs. <laughs> yes. Like, like, like you know, so many people I met in my show, they're like, I follow you. I know you. It's like, what? so hello. Say hi. Connect with us. You know what I mean? We, we are just, we're humans just like you. Yeah. So amazing. Connect with us. We want to take your business to next level. Next level. Don't be shy. We're, you know, we're here. We're here Great. for you. What's your Instagram? The Jasmine Lee team. Great. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy your day. Oh, beautiful. Tina, that was awesome. Yeah.